Hi and welcome to day 31 of 100 days of breakthrough and in the middle of these 100 days as many of you will know by now I'm doing a little mini series on the keys to the kingdom and uh, I've actually asked theologians what they think the keys to the kingdom are it's a great conversation I personally think that the keys are either things that make a difference or are different about the Christian life the Christian the way we live uh, the kingdom that we're a part of and here's the one I just want to talk to you about for a moment and it's an important one and it's uh, we have a different way of dealing with pain and uh, it's it's really I believe significant you know the 12 gates are 12 pearls through which the kings of the earth revelation says will take their glory with them which is another subject but uh, just to say this you uh, <laughs> you have a glory and you will take it with you so uh, but the 12 gates are 12 pearls you know why are they 12 gates um, into eternity into the place that we would call glory interestingly um, which is a bit of a misnomer in a way because the whole earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of God so um, why are they pearls here's what I believe I, I believe that pearls are the product of pain uh, submitted to the cross if you know anything about pearls you'll know that uh, a parasite or a you know get makes a hole in the shell and uh, some grit or a parasite gets inside the oyster and then the oyster starts secreting this substance called nacre and uh, it covers that irritant uh, layer by layer with an imperfect pearlescent substance which produces the pearl and the pearl is the product of pain so is it that Jesus produce those 12 gates through uh, his pain and here's what I believe that all of us must learn to do and especially in this season but in the area of our breakthrough the place we're desiring the great breakthrough uh, this is the place uh, to put our pain at the cross and uh, just to take it there and to allow the Holy Spirit remember the inside of the oyster shell is called the mother of pearl um, that's a beautiful picture, I believe, of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, who, as it were, secretes a liquid day by day and covers the irritant and makes it beautiful. Pearls are the product of pain submitted to the foot of the cross. And we have a different approach to pain. And even in this season, I would encourage you um, to uh, apply that different approach. You know, uh, Jesus, one of his names, I think it was Henry Nguyen, who I read, uh, give him this name called him the wounded healer uh, that's uh, an incredible and beautiful uh, title for Jesus so he through his life Jesus through his life through his pain through his suffering through what he went through who for the joy set before him endured the cross despising the shame and is now seated at the right hand of the father it was his life it was the pain that he submitted literally his whole life to the cross and uh, that that was covered as it were um, by the Holy Spirit and produce those 12 gates through which the kings of the earth will pass and uh, and we get to do that we get to live our lives the same way we get to pay, take our pain our disappointments and to submit to the, to the cross and to allow the Holy Spirit uh, to cover them as it were and to turn them into something beautiful a pearl and you know I want to tell you something which I believe is a, is a stunning illustration when you submit your pain, your disappointment, your trial to the cross, and it produces a pearl, that pearl becomes a gateway through which other people can step through into their glory, into their breakthrough, because of what you did with yours. And, uh, and all of us have the privilege of living our lives uh, in that way. There are certain things that I know that I and Sue and I have done where we fought for something and we've gained a pearl and then we've watched other people walk, as it were, more rapidly through something similar uh, because of that which we uh, got to do. So keys to the kingdom. We deal with our pain differently. We submit it to the foot of the cross and we leave it there. It's the only place to leave it. We don't uh, we don't take it inwardly. We don't or we shouldn't turn it into uh, bitterness we should uh, we should leave it at the cross and uh, glory is a beautiful thing you know the whole earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of God and one of those ways 
is the way that you deal with pain. One of those ways is the way that you create out of your pain pearls through which others can step into their breakthrough, their experience of, of the goodness of God. And uh, you know you can't separate the goodness of God from his glory, don't you? That's why when Moses said to God, show me your glory, God said, I'll let all my goodness pass before your eyes. You see, when God created, he expressed himself. And that's my definition of glory. Glory is the result of God expressing himself. And you know what he also did in his expression? He saw that it was good. You cannot separate goodness from glory. You just can't. It's impossible. So I want to bless you today. Day 31 may be one of the keys to your breakthrough. The breakthrough you're believing for will to leave, be to leave your pain, your irritation, that parasite that snuck into your life and causes you pain and irritation and disappointment. Take it to the cross and allow the Holy Spirit, the mother of Pearl, to cover that pain that disappointment, that irritation to cover that and to make a beautiful pearl out of your pain. And maybe there'll be others that you'll be able to say, this is my journey. And I've got to do that with things like kisses from a good God, my prostate cancer journey, and to allow people to walk through. And Sue and I have with our infertility journey or our breakthrough journey for visas and green cards when we went to California. I was thinking that only today. And uh, we're believing for another breakthrough in our lives. And uh, we've seen him do it before and he will do it again. But on the way, I leave my pain and my disappointments at the cross, which is what Jesus did. He prayed that great prayer in the Garden of Gethsemane, let this cup pass from me, but not my will, but thine be done. And of course, Jesus was the cup, the cup poured out. So I bless you. Day 31 of 100 days of breakthrough. Come on. Let's believe for our breakthrough, for your breakthrough. As we press in uh, the rest of this year, let's leave our pain at the cross. And I bless every one of you. Um, bless you for your breakthrough. I'll see you again tomorrow on day 32. Bye for now.